hello and welcome back to Vampire. So, Lord Redgrave is just about to finish uh, his uh, ceremony. Uh, so, let's go for it. Spotted at least two foreign echoes. This is an outrage. We shall hey, chase these boys. intruders down. I was chased by a gigantic Valkod two nights ago. I'm not ago. sure who's saying that. I thought it was Fergal coming back, but oh, no. is that guy? That creature barely spoke English. Talk to Lord Redgrave. Yeah, that's what we want. So, they're just uh, talking among themselves. Yeah, I need to talk to Lord Redgrave. So what do you that want from went me? went well, did it not? It is always useful to bolster the troops' morale, especially before a difficult battle. You have the makings of a general, my lord. I was, oh, come on. though very long ago, well, not quite a general, but a proud defender of the crown. So why did you really want to meet me? Straight to the point again, young Ekon. All right, let's talk, you and I, Lance Sparrow. I'm listening, my lord. According to my what? spies, you have worked with Dr. Edgar Swansea on the epidemic, and your findings were quite alarming. Yes? This formality is killing me. Do you know Swansea? Do you know Edgar Swansea? Not personally, but I've been told he has some sort of immortal fetish and is a good friend of yours. Does it bother you that I consider him my good friend? As long as you reveal nothing of the club's inner workings, why should I forbid you engaging in conversation with the good Dr. Swansea? I see. You were spying on me? I guess he was. He was definitely was. You were spying on me? Not personally. I rarely leave this building. But once he found you, Fergal kept me informed. Until you put an end to his mission. <laughs> Who was Fergal? You know I killed him. Like, he definitely knows that. Who was Fergal? I don't see him sipping tea with the others in the club. Fergal Banshaw was my squire of sorts. Even before becoming that magnificent beast, he was a brute. He served me well for decades. No, I mean, what was he? He was clearly no ordinary vampire. No, he was a Vulcod. All muscles and instinct. Quite the rare breed. Ferociously territorial. Mortals often mistake them for werewolves. Okay. Scales are linked to the epidemic? Wow! <sighs> Dr. Reed... Your loose lips? Do we want to tell him that? Yes, I'm convinced the recent invasion of frenzied scowls in London is directly linked to the epidemic. This is not the Spanish flu, but something else. I would be glad to hear more of your discoveries, Dr. Reed. But for now, my main concern is the security of London's inhabitants, both mortal and immortal. What do you mean? Alarmed by the epidemic, the guard of Prewen has started a war against us British vampires. To appease the situation, we must eradicate the skulls. <gasps> so, not all immortals, but some skulls are peaceful. I have met peaceful and wise skulls. To exterminate them means we are no better than vampire hunters. Skalls are hideous, shameful creatures that give all Ekon a bad name. So, what do you want me to do? I want you to investigate the city thoroughly. I have reason to fear there are cases of contagion in this part of town. Our absolute priority <laughs> is to find and cleanse them. And how would you like me to proceed? By all means necessary, Dr. Reed. You are now a member of the Ascalon Club and you have carte blanche. Interrogate the locals, follow all the leads you find, and get results. So I can kill more citizens now. Find the sources of infection in the West End. I suppose that does matter, but... Joining this bloody club didn't get me, get me anything. All right, let's leave this bloody place. I guess this didn't really change anything. We joined the club. Woohoo. That's it.
Well, we do know about them, and it's better to... Uh, well, I suppose, know them at least, somewhat. I uh, think Lord Redgrave just suggested I was sired by an ancient vampire. Women's right to vote is only the first step! I, I think the game repeats uh, lines just in case you don't wanna um, explore dialogue options that much. Wait, what? Find the source of infection in many places, including the West End. Oi, you know what could cause the infection? Good evening, Miss Ash. And good e These camera angles. Um, uh, about the local source of infection? I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? A few days ago, I spotted a strange house while campaigning for women's suffrage. Awful smell. No answer when I knocked. Where is it? It's the Mullaney's. A nice family who live in a big house near the park in the eastern part of this neighborhood. All right, we got a lead. Goodbye, Charlotte. Give my best regards to your mother when you see her. She's been quite busy these last few nights. I oh, you already said that. So, let's check out the Mullaney's first. It could be a dead end, but who knows? We got a lead, and we need to investigate. So where are the Mulanies? Hmm. Ah, oh, this is fine. Going this way is fine. Maybe not the the fastest, but it's acceptable. Yeah, let's just go this way. Why are vampire hunters sniffing around? I need to find out what they're after. Why? Come on. Quite obvious. A lot of vampires over here. And this big guy is hard to kill. Come on, then we're just gonna kill the big guy. We have to stop it. Oh, we gotta go for the, the snack. I need more health. You do have the feeling that upgrading the skill wasn't. Well, wasn't it a good call? I don't know. It seems worse for some reason. It's more costly and uh, seems to do less. Which is not great. Oh, yeah. Come on, rats. I have this thirst for blood. Really? I would have not guessed that. So... Oh, we can jump up. Okay, good. This game is so dark. I need a fucking torch. Take that candle. Take rich blood sample. We may need to analyze that. So they are missing, but apparently their lamps are uh, lit. Even the candles. So that means they must be, someone must be here. There's no way. What's up with you, mate? Box of pills. Codeine. Okay, what's up with you? He had his tongue removed and his eyes gouged out. He was a victim of brutal torture. 
Yeah, that's really bad. This one's neck is broken. He was young. Probably the son. They have the same bloody picture. Who's that? Anybody in here? Wait, what? How many bloody pictures do you have of this guy? Who is he? I swear, if I'm gonna find another picture of this guy in the same bloody room, I'm gonna lose it. Wait, what? Hey, mister. You feeling okay? <laughs> you thought I was dead too, didn't you? No, I was just pretending. Doris told me I could have been a great actress. You killed your family. They mocked my talent. They think you're great. Wait, I, I'm not mocking your talent. I think you're a great actress. <laughs> Do you want to kill your number one fan? Oh my god. Is this some kind of a semi-boss fight? We died to the... F she didn't even hit us. She's just so stinky. And then we died to it. In like 10 seconds. Wow. That's really bad. I suppose compared to her, I can't really uh, complain about anybody's personal hygiene. Please. Okay. Wait, where the hell are we? Uh, at the start? This woman's body has multiple lacerations. They're deep, too. Whoever did this was driven by rage. Okay. Like. Let's just quickly run over this thing. Yeah, we're gonna check that out. So one of them transformed into a vampire. And, uh... We do know about that already. Oh, we lost our blood. That's so dumb. Ah, the same bloody guy. I just skip it. Mm. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Whoa, what the hell? I'm gonna die. What? Game, what? I got hit once by that green goo and I lost all my health. Is there a way to make myself invincible? Because that's what I bloody need. What I'm supposed to do? Go kill some innocents now? I'm coming! Seems like whatever we uh, already picked up earlier. We don't have to pick up anymore. No, that's bad. That's so bad. That's bad. We need to, we need to heal up. Why? I mean, I do like a challenge. But if the player is unfamiliar with the danger... Like, for example, if people point a gun at you, then they know what the hell is up, like, that's kind of like, no. If people would try to punch you in the face, you know what's up, you try to stab you, they, you know what's up. And I suppose, like, th this how, the green thingy... <sighs> I don't know. So we did learn that it's extremely dangerous, and it just kills you. 
straight up kills you, and I'm not sure what's a good way to uh, not die. Okay, I'll just go for a snack. Oh no! We got poison! What the hell? This camera lock! I don't see where I'm going! I can't back out! Game! What are you doing? I fucking hate camera lock. But because of how the game works, it is also awkward to play without camera lock. If it was just, uh, the thing is, when I press uh, D, for example, A or D, le left or right, the character runs that way. That's fine. I don't know. It just, that, that's fine. That's fine. That's preferable. I'm just, I'm just saying that it's a bit weird. It's kind of hard to aim. At that, that's, that's fine. Actually, that's, that's totally fine. I don't, I don't know what to do with this. I just find it a little bit hard to aim sometimes at the abilities without camera lock. But with camera lock, you just you're just super sad about the movement. Okay, we're dead. So I need to break the camera lock and do some kind of heal. Maybe do pop one of the health potion. Okay, he she locked the door. What the hell? Okay. So she's just puking everywhere. But it shouldn't be like completely lethal. It's a bit too much, isn't it? So maybe my best choice. Is to watch her and see what kind of skills she has. Oh, yeah, we need to go for the snack. Oh, double snack. Go away now. Please go away. That doesn't matter. No, 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 no. She didn't hit us. I have to wait for my abilities to disable her. Else it's just too risky. Oh, she didn't hit us. Good. No, she hit us. As tempting it is to go in and fight, we can't. So we just need to run around and heal up. No, 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 no. What the hell? Camera lock, don't do it. I need to get the hell out of this. Whoa, whoa. Just standing in it. Oh, we got hit again. 1% dead now, right? I can't! I can't! Oh, game! Close quarters, insta-kill by some dumb... dumb thing. Honestly, at this point, I would rather if you just insta-killed me with some melee attack, rather than just the green poison. I'm coming! Don't you worry about it, I'm coming. One thing we can do is prepare some more potions, but the problem with that is that we would need to prepare the potions 
and I don't know, lose a bunch of fights. I'm just talking about the most sensible way to do it. Lose a lot of fights by not using potion. Learn the abilities, what to watch out for. Then start using potions to actually win the fight. Oh, I definitely want the snack. Maybe I need to bring up my... Uh oh, no, I don't think so. I need to bring up my disables. think so what you managed to hit me that's fucking bullshit I'm spamming heal also I need to use my ultimate At least you didn't puke at me. Oh, snack time, snack time. I suppose it's not too hard. I've seen such a radical mutation. Oh! Could it be a new stage in the disease's evolution? Alright. Ooh, we got some clue here. Shillings. What is this? Letter from Fletcher Acting School. Dear Elsa, it is with great joy I, that I can I confirm with this letter your acceptance as a private student into my acting school. The little scene you had the kindness to perform for me last week convinced me that you have what it takes to be a real actress. Wit, stature and courage. As a private student, you'll receive my personal training and coaching. During these intense sessions, you'll be invited to stay at the school, since I strongly believe in total immersion to exposure to expose the full potential of my students. So please, remember to bring night attire and anything you may need to spend a week at my school. Yours sincerely, Doris Fletcher. So, this girl took lessons at the famous Doris Fletcher acting school. So... Door has been unlocked. I did not find the source of infection. Do I need to investigate more citizens about infection? We need stamina. Remember your boys, friends. No, what the hell with the damage? Insane. Let me go. What the hell? Camera lock. Stop this. Stop that! Whoa, we lost a lot of stamina and blood by that. Can we just camera lock on them now? They don't even care. What? Why? Oh boy, this is what happens. No, we need to get some... No, this is too risky. No, this is uh... Acceptable. That's what we need. Some blood. He's gonna die. Oh, come on. I just wanted to stun you. Uh, but we definitely need some health. Alright. 
Okay, I need to up my damage and uh, up my survivability and maybe up my skills. Seems like well we don't well we do have some XP. Okay, we're getting to the point we probably should just go back, find the sorcerers. Okay, I need to ask the locals. Evergreen. Are these places open? Uh, wait, fancy skirt. Good evening, miss. Can I help you? I'm a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. I am... I am... Karina Billow. I don't need any doctor. The rats. Where are the rats? Miss, you don't seem well at all. Are you afraid of rats? Has one bitten you? No, it's me who bites them. Tasty, juicy, disgusting rats. I can't stop eating them. Help me, please. Help me to disobey the voice. Um. Uh, about the source of infection. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Infection. Infection. The rats carry it, I heard. Rats. 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 Many rats around that big house. Funny smell, too. Dead flesh. And where is this house? West of the park. Not very far. A, a big house with no sound, no light, no life left. What? What happened to you? What happened to you? The rats! The answer hides in their little crunchy bones. Their juicy, tiny brains. Miss Billow, please, try to concentrate. Why do you worry about rats so much? The voice in my head. He forces me to do so. Drink their blood, he said. Eat their flesh. Do you feel compelled to obey? Do you feel compelled to obey that voice, Miss Billow? Even if you're loath to submit to it? Yes. Please. Help. I can't help you. I think uh, rats are juicy and delicious. Tell me about the voice in your head. Who is it? Can you describe it? Is it someone you know? Someone you met. Keep your mouth shut, he said. Don't ever speak about me or I'll abandon you. Help me, please, Doctor. Okay. What is the local news? Shadow. That's not what I wanted. I must go now. Goodbye, Miss Billow. So... The hell? Well, she's definitely suspicious. Tell me about you. Tell me about yourself, Miss Billow. What do you do for a living? Oh, I'm hungry. Need to eat. Have you got something for me? Blood, perhaps? Can you give me blood, Dr. Reed? Don't you remember who you are, Miss? What you did for work? I was strong, proud. I campaigned for good causes, but that was before, before, it does not matter anymore, I'm so hungry. Let's do a medical checkup, she's healthy, okay. I must go now, goodbye Miss Billow. I guess I can kill her, can I kill her? Rats. Uh, we can mesmerize her. But well, she's not I must go dangerous, now. clearly. Uh, obviously dangerous, so I'm not gonna kill her. But it's an option we can consider. Can't go there. So... So apparently my question... Well, my quest is still to... 
ask about possible source of infection. Oh yeah, we got the vampire hunter guy as well. Hey mate, I didn't even see you before. Good evening, old chap. Oh, Are you all right? That? I won't lie to you, Johnny. I'm not a well man. Do you know about any infection? I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Can you help me? Infection is everywhere these days. But if you ever go to the park near that swanky house belonging to the, the Malanies. Yes? What about the Malanies? What about their house? Not enough noise for a big family with children. Not enough movement. Closed doors. What is going on in there? I wonder. I don't have a treatment for your migraine, man. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. I suppose you are the best, uh, you got the most XP at the game. If you heal people, then you kill them. Um... I don't know. I'm not so sure what I'm supposed to do. I asked the, the two free citizens I found. I can kill that vampire woman but I don't know if any other citizens here this disgusting smell oh, I can't continue like this can't just give her a rat what well I can kill her his name, his name. You, you looks like they're only free um yeah, this is the back entrance to the club. Am I supposed to ask some vampire guys inside the club? Ask locals about the possible source of infection. Like, that is my... In the West End. So, we are at the West End. We are asking the locals about possible source of infection. And there are no more people here. That's all we got. Oh yeah. Okay, never mind that. I'm hungry. Where shop hey, shop guy. Good evening, sir. Please forgive me for disturbing you. I'm a doctor. I never judge a man by his title, but by his attitude. And you are not disturbing me at all. I am Calhoun Russell, and I welcome you. Well, I must admit, it's good to receive a warm welcome for once. I'm Dr... I'm Jonathan Reed. Welcome, Dr. Reed. Welcome to my humble shop. Let's trade. I may have a look at your goods, Mr. Russell. Um, uh, let's go with good handle part. Tiny good handle part. Let's go with good handle part. Meh. Okay, let's see. Good evening. Your life in London. Any interesting local news? What can you tell me about this place? I recently found the best steak and kidney pie in the city. I'd be glad to share the address if you want. Um, is food all that interests you? Finding a good restaurant. Is that really all that interests That's quite judge of oh, you, Jonathan. I have many passions, but nothing brings me ecstasy like subtle and exquisite flavors from my teeth to my belly. Okay. I have specific tastes. I must confess, I have quite specific tastes when it comes to nutrition. Really? Well, I'm always happy to try new exotic meals. If you ever find an intriguing table, please share the address. Okay. Tell me about the neighborhood. How is the situation in this part of town? Life is good and peaceful. We're lucky to live in such an era of progress and wonders. 
Are you not concerned about the epidemic? Oh, I'm sure the authorities would take the appropriate measure if the danger were that high. Yeah. Don't be naive. You cannot expect the newspapers to expose the truth while the war is still raging. I can assure you that the situation here is desperate. Well, that's news then. But I can't believe that things are that bad. Are you sure you're not exaggerating a bit? For the thrill of it? Okay. Is it not a late hour for trade? Is it not a little too late to be trading? On the contrary, it is the perfect hour. Believe me, my friend, it is always at night that you meet the most fascinating characters. Is it not dangerous? But what about the epidemic? The bombs and raids? And all the random violence? Please, sir, this is London, England. We will prevail. <laughs> and if a bomb must fall on my shop, then I'll be there to hear it falling. All right. So you prefer to live at night? So you prefer to work at night? Oh, I also enjoy a sunny day like everybody else. But the night always has a certain je ne sais quoi of its own. Do you have any family nearby? Do you have any family nearby? Not since my parents died. I'm London's lone gourmet. Mm. Are you lonely? Really? But you seem to be such a pleasant and sociable fellow. I'm afraid the real hedonist has to be sometimes. I discovered ecstasy as a solitary pleasure, but it does not mean it can't ever be shared. London's lone gourmet. What a strange title. I used that name in my early years when I was a food critic, and I kept it. Okay. About the local source of infection, you must do something. I'm investigating the source of the epidemic in this district. Have you noticed anything unusual? Not really. Wait, now that you mention oh. it. Oh. I don't see the McPhersons in my favorite restaurants. They love delicate meals too, you understand. Thank you. It may be nothing, but I'll investigate anyway. Where do they live? They have a house in the southern part of the district, somewhere north of the railway bridge. There is a courtyard, if I remember rightly. All right. That seems like newly. Goodbye, Mr. Russell. I'm sure you'll take care of yourself. All right. We're good. You gotta it's leave. It's been such a long time since I left. Reached a second source of infection. Hopefully, there's not gonna be a third. Remember, women's right to vote. Ah. Uh. It's only the first step. So that building is under quarantine. Can't go in. Could this be what I'm looking for? Oh, it, it very well could be. So let's just go around. What the hell? I like this poison. Wow, we got hit by a lot. I'm gonna die. I hate to use a syringe to not die. No, I need to. I need some blood. You know what? I'm just gonna go away. Heal up. Stop spitting at me. Disgusting. Can you fight me a traditional way? Oh, come on. That's the last thing I needed. Oh, boy. What? 
I'm spamming heal. Game. What the hell? The thing is, uh, the game said that if you do not kill innocents, basically, go don't go out if you killed. Uh, wait to kill innocents, then the game is gonna be harder. But. Come on. Should be still possible. I guess the game is encouraging me to kill some innocents. So that woman needs to die right now. Are you kidding me? I don't care about werewolves. Go away. Please, no. I don't see it. I need to heal. See, werewolf. Oh, time to snack. Armor up. Why is the heal so bad? It is terrible. And everything insta kills me. <laughs> God damn it. The ultimate is basically useless. So I'm not gonna put a lot of points into that. Can't believe it, but you might need to be uh, a bit more crafty if you want to be uh, less violent, I suppose. We can also go back. We can also go back to sleep, and I probably have to do that though. So she needs to be focused down, that's for sure. She's super dangerous. No, I need some stamina. Snack time! No, I don't think so. Go away, go away. Okay, we're good. I just need to pay attention to the timing. And probably level up my skills that are actually useful. Okay. Or maybe just upgrade my weapon. That, that could be nice as well. I do want to finish this uh, mission in the West End if possible before that. Can I just jump up? I'll try it because uh, last time that's how we did it. Okay. We're not quite finished with this room yet. Common handle part. Silver fork. Oh, that's not a weapon. Good dagger. To absorb blood. Yeah, that's a guaranteed way to absorb blood. That's not how I'm going, though. I can go into the courtyard, but do I want to? I think I have to. There's nothing else to do here. Are 
tanky as hell. No, another puker? I don't wanna... The thing is, it's also very hard to uh, change between targets. I want to lock the woman. And because it's gonna be stupidly annoying. No, 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 bad! Start doing the ultimate. 400... Oh boy, you can die. No, stop that! I'm dead, of course. Uh, lock camera killed me. Terrible. I suppose this game is like a console game first. So... Uh, terrible controls, kinda... Well, it's not really terrible. The, the action is kind of smooth, but uh, and if the uh, the enemies didn't have like s uh, like abilities like this, maybe it would be a little bit less annoying. So I can't take out that guy. I need to no, that's not the guy I wanted to lock. I was looking at her. Apparently, it's uh, not decided by that, but by. Distance to the character. Now uh, we got poisoned. No, stop that. Okay. We managed to lock her, but at this point, it's just totally game over. We're just gonna die. Might as well just let it happen. Oh boy. I don't wanna stop this game before because of the camera and the controls. Don't get me wrong, if I use the... I'm not using a controller, but if I use the controller, I would feel exactly the same way. Except I would be a, a little bit more pissed off. But you can take him down one on one. Stop the poison! No! I'm just gonna die! You cannot! You cannot! Deal with these guys. Okay. Uh, damn. I think the only sensible thing to do at this point is to go back, have a night's rest, and come back here as strong as possible. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I suppose, well, I'm not only under leveled by 8, eight levels, uh, but also I I have a, like, I don't know, like, at least one or two level worth of uh, unspent XP. So, that's it now, uh, guys. I have to go back and get strong. Well, that's, that's exactly what I'm gonna do next time and come back, because we're gonna see something on the way back. It's not gonna be it, like as long of a journey. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time.